now let's talk about uh, some other things okay let's talk about abstraction you might have heard the word abstraction abstraction simply says give only or expose only relevant details to the users that are useful for them and hiding background details and information okay so why it's used it make the users view of the database more personalized right uh, users don't need to actually uh, see whatever happening behind the scenes they'll actually see what they want to see the relevant information is displayed to them so abstraction means uh, hiding background details and information and only exposing details only exposing the things that are relevant to the users that make their interaction with the system with the database more smooth more easier they'll get the personalized view of the database okay so databases also provide an abstract view of the database uh you might we have might uh, seen views right database actually provide three levels of abstraction three levels of uh, architecture or three levels of abstraction we say okay uh let's take an example let's say this is a database this is a scalar database okay so in this scalar database we have a lot of information information about students uh their fees whatever fees they have paid assignments then what information we have their instructors of course their salaries their date of joining date of birth date of joining right then uh, mentors then their salaries then tas and all the lot of different things right so these are all the information stored in the scalar database now let's say a student want to view the data want to search want to query something so do the student get the complete view of this scalar database is stored one time right in one place at one time the scalar database is stored right but if student want to view the data will the student uh get the view of complete database no the instructors information information about their salaries their date of joining their date of birth it's non relevant data which should not be shown to the students right so they'll get a they'll not actually view the complete database they'll view the the part of the database so views we actually create we actually create our own views in later part of the videos uh when we actually do the practical implementations right so uh, here simply understand that dbms provide three levels of abstraction what is that the first level is physical level of abstraction physical level of abstraction means it's the lowest level of abstraction it's the lowest level of abstraction abstraction word is clear here right abstraction means hiding the background details so database provide the abstract view for different end users if student want to view the database they need not to view the complete database right they only want to view the uh, database that is relevant to them right so that's why dbms provide three levels of abstraction three levels architecture it is called so the first is physical the lowest level of abstraction it uh, actually says how the data is stored how the data is stored in the database okay second one is conceptual conceptual database it actually says what type of data is stored what type of data okay what here like uh, data types what type data types are there then relationships between the different tables then different integrity con constraints we have talked about it as is earlier right then primary keys foreign keys which we will be discussing so all type of uh, relationships or data types what type of data the information about data it's being used it's being stored in conceptual uh, level okay so second one is conceptual level that is what type of data is stored now the third one is external level external level is actually the highest level of abstraction okay 
it's actually for end users the users who are viewing our database who actually look into our database like for students we have different views for the database okay so first is physical level the lowest level of how the data is stored okay whatever different data uh, data structures we are using how we are actually storing our database uh, actually storing our data second is conceptual level conceptual level means what type of data is being stored what are the different types the different relations between the data the constraints that are there in the data the primary key of this data the foreign keys the unique key and all these things then external level the highest level that actually the end users who are actually viewing your database so they need not to know the uh, depth of it the how the data is stored it's actually hidden from the from the end users how the data is being stored what type of data is storing how the relationships are maintained in the database this is actually hidden from the user they only get to see the view of the database okay so these are this is the additional thing which i want to tell you about three levels of abstraction okay